that many of those raided or those who have had cases slapped against them have been opposition leaders. Many of them have been from the Aam Aadmi Party and most of those cases have actually not held up in a court of law. What you said and, and I want to return to actually also what's happening within the CBI currently because that is linked in a sense to what you said. Uh, but uh, you know Raghav Chadda, you're there from the Aam Aadmi Party. We just had the BJP's Anil Jha saying that the reason why the AAP, for example, has found that most of its legislators have been acquitted in cases over the last few months is because you guys have managed to manage witnesses and even manage the courts. This is what the BJP is alleging today. <laughs> well, I think it's laughable. I think these comments don't even uh, uh, merit a response. Uh, and it's an, a person uh, of the ruling party making such comments about the judiciary should be charged with contempt of court outrightly. Well, uh, first of all, uh, as you rightly pointed out at the outset, multiple cases, almost two dozen cases were filed against the Aam Aadmi Party MLAs over the last three and a half years. Nineteen of them have been dismissed by court, out of which more than a dozen of them have been uh, uh, dismissed in the pre-trial stage because the evidence or the basis on, on which the investigative agency had formed an opinion that there exists a case was also shoddy fabricated and these investigative agencies have been reprimanded by the courts in each of those cases and it's uh, once you read the orders of the court you will find the kind of shoddy work and the kind of motivated work that these investigative agencies have uh, done ever since we've come to office every instrumentality of the state has, has been abused, misused and unleashed on us. From CBI to Enforcement Directorate to Income Tax to Anti-Corruption Branch, every agency has been uh, uh, misused and unleashed on us and virtually every case has been closed, shut down and now the, because we have come out with certain revolutionary schemes like uh, doorstep delivery of services etc which this particular minister Mr. Gelwath was uh, at the forefront and was uh, you know leading the effective implementation of these schemes he has been charged by the income tax uh, 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 this morning so I think it's essentially a classic case a textbook case of vendetta politics in the backlash of the most humiliating defeat electoral defeat in the history of India and Mr. Modi's first electoral uh, defeat that happened in the month of February okay, 2015 so, so Raghav, just, just when second. I want BJP to take, was reduced uh, in the legislative house I, of I Delhi want to take from what you're saying to four Anil, short of Anil majority Jagen. to less than four seats. I'm sure that there are cases that that are legit and, 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 I, and I wouldn't. No, there it, it would, would be but, you, but it wouldn't be fair to dismiss of, all of them you know, but I also can't two, believe that it's only the opposition that is raided today. that have been raided today from what I understand and what I have been able to read, we have to look at more if, uh, information, what comes out after the enforcement agencies release the information. Uh, one of them is a company which is, it's a family owned company and which has been there from the time then when Mr. Uh, Geloth was possibly in, just in his 20s and probably just uh, uh, still a law student. So the point is that we still do not have enough evidence which is looking in our face, you know, to say there's prima facie case for uh, an, an income tax rate on Raghav, premises. Raghav Chadda, Raghav. May I, may, may I, may I respond now? Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, this is a textbook example of Aneta politics in the backlash of the most humiliating defeat, electoral de defeat that we have seen ever since uh, uh, in this country. Number two, that was also Mr. Modi's first electoral defeat in but his political career. Before, before that, yeah. he had not suffered any political electoral setback. Number two, when, when it comes to the CBI, now the CBI raided the chief minister's own office in the month of uh, December 2015. Until today, we don't know what have they recovered from those raids, what has happened to that case. For all we know, the CBI has in fact filed a, a closure report in that case. After that, the CBI went ahead and raided the deputy chief minister's residence. Then they summoned the uh, PWD minister, Mr. Satyendra Jain, virtually on a bi-monthly basis. And they've even summoned his wife and his daughter. And till now, we don't know what is the fate of those cases. Where has those cases gone? They are only trying to harass us and they think that they can bog us down. Unfortunately, these 
uh, agencies and these uh, uh, tactics won't succeed because Aam Aadmi Party has gotten used to it. We know what these guys do. Every time we do something good, they come to stop us. And quite frankly, we are willing to face all these trials and cases without saying anything because the people of Delhi support us and the people of Delhi know that we are doing some serious good work. Number two, okay. uh, when it comes to the BJP, as you have pointed out about the cases in the BJP, 33% of the union cabinet ministers have serious criminal, heinous criminal cases pending against them. What has happened to those cases? How many of those trials have been concluded? What about those fast track courts that were supposed to be set up and those poli politicians That's were supposed point. to be That is a way to differ Raghav on that point about account accountability of against the officers. Which you, is see, you see Nidhi, Nidhi, yeah, so you know and uh, a lot of these officers when they uh, get to meet us in informal settings outside courts, outside their offices, they say this to us that look we are being pressurized to do this. We get a call from the uh, sahab who sits upstairs and we are uh, pushed and we are forced to do all this and to issue these notices no, but to maybe you if they're to file these cases they against stopped, you. We are not doing this out of our own by wish the and our bosses, na? Maybe if they're held accountable, they'll stop getting bullied by the... But then for that, you well, have to make the CBI no, of independent of political uh, rule. I mean, and that, that's a long-term thing we have to debate separately. Uh, uh, and it absolutely... Abs absolutely. Take it out of the PMO, uh, Ministry of Personnel. I, uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining us on this important debate uh, tonight. And let's see uh, where this case against the Delhi Transport Minister goes. Is it going to go the way of most of the other cases against the ARPS MLAs, which have fallen flat on their face in court? Or is it going to hold up? We'll just have to wait and see.